Hey everyone, it's SD Kedos here and blast off get ready for an awesome adventure. We're going on a super fun trip to outer space today to learn some amazing facts. Did you know that space is full of surprises? We're going to explore cool planets, giant stars, and maybe even some alien secrets. So buckle up, put on your astronaut helmets because it's time to explore the universe. Wow, look at that big ball of fire. Isn't it just mesmerizing to look at? The sun with its fiery surface and intense brightness is truly a sight to behold. That's the sun, and guess what? It's not just any ordinary celestial body, it's the heart of our solar system, the very center around which everything revolves. It's not just super hot, it's actually a star. Yes, you heard that right. The sun is a massive star made up of burning gases, primarily hydrogen and helium. These gases undergo nuclear fusion, producing the immense energy that lights up our world. It's a giant ball of burning gas that gives us light and heat. Without the sun, life on Earth wouldn't be possible. Its energy drives our weather, fuels plant growth, and keeps our planet warm enough to sustain life. Can you imagine our solar system without the sun? It would be a completely different place. There would be no light, no warmth, and no life as we know it. It would be super dark and super cold. The sun's absence would plunge our solar system into eternal darkness and freezing temperatures, making it an inhospitable place for any form of life. The sun is like the king of our solar system, and all the planets orbit around it, just like Earth does. This gravitational pull keeps everything in place, ensuring that our solar system remains stable and orderly. The sun's influence extends far beyond just providing light and heat. It shapes the very structure of our cosmic neighborhood. The sun also has a powerful magnetic field and emits solar wind, which interacts with Earth's magnetic field to create stunning auroras. These natural light displays are a beautiful reminder of the sun's dynamic and ever-changing nature. Sometimes the sun's surface erupts with solar flares and coronal mass ejections, sending bursts of energy and particles into space. These events can affect satellite communications and even power grids on Earth, showcasing the sun's immense power. So next time you see the sun rising or setting, take a moment to appreciate this incredible star. It's not just a big ball of fire in the sky, it's the life-giving force that makes our existence possible. The sun truly is the star of our solar system. Speaking of planets, did you know there are eight planets in our solar system? Yep, eight amazing planets, each one totally unique and cool. Let's name them together. Ready? Mercury, Venus, Earth. That's where we live. Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Wow, that's a lot of planets. Which one is your favorite? Have you ever wondered what it sounds like in space? Well, get ready to be surprised because space is almost completely silent. Can you believe it? That's because there's no air in space, and sound needs air to travel. So even if you shout really loud in space, no one would be able to hear you. It would be like a giant, super quiet game of hide-and-seek. Okay, get this. On Venus, a day is actually longer than a year. How crazy is that? It takes Venus longer to rotate on its axis, which is what makes a day, than it takes to orbit all the way around the Sun, which is what makes a year. So if you lived on Venus, you would have a birthday every day. That's a lot of cake. Did you know that Mars has mountains? Yes, you heard that right. Mars, the fourth planet from the Sun, is home to some of the most fascinating geological features in our solar system. When we think of Mars, we often imagine a barren red desert, but there's so much more to this intriguing planet. Among its many wonders are towering mountains and expansive canyons that dwarf many of Earth's own natural landmarks. And not just any mountains, but some of the tallest mountains and deepest canyons in our whole solar system. Imagine standing at the base of a mountain that reaches heights beyond anything we have here on Earth. These Martian mountains are not only tall, but also ancient, telling a story of a planet that has been geologically active for billions of years. The canyons, too, are a testament to the dynamic processes that have shaped Mars over eons. There's a volcano on Mars called Olympus Mons that's about 13.6 miles 22 kilometers high 
making it nearly three times taller than Mount Everest, the tallest mountain on Earth. Olympus Mons is not just any volcano, it's the largest volcano in the entire solar system. Standing at about 13.6 miles, 22 kilometers high, it dwarfs Mount Everest, which is about 5.5 miles, 8.8 .8 kilometers tall. This colossal volcano has a base that is roughly the size of the state of Arizona, making it a truly monumental feature on the Martian landscape. And there's a canyon called Valles Marineris that's so big, it would stretch all the way across the United States. That's one giant canyon. Valles Marineris is about 2,500 miles, 4,000 kilometers long, 120 miles, 200 kilometers wide, and up to 7 miles, 11 kilometers deep. To put that in perspective, it's over 10 times the size of the Grand Canyon. This immense canyon system is a marvel of planetary geology, offering scientists clues about the tectonic and erosional processes that have shaped Mars. So next time you look up at the night sky and see that red dot, remember that Mars is a world of towering mountains and vast canyons waiting to be explored. Our moon is pretty awesome, right? It lights up the night sky and controls the tides. But did you know that the moon is slowly moving away from Earth? It's true. Every year, the moon moves about 1.5 inches farther away from us. Don't worry, though. It's going to be around for a long, long time. Have you ever tried to count all the stars in the sky? It seems impossible, right? Well, scientists estimate that there are more stars in the observable universe than grains of sand on all the beaches on Earth. Can you believe that many stars? It's like trying to count all the sprinkles on a giant never-ending ice cream cone. The universe is a big, mysterious, and sparkly place. Ever dreamed of being an astronaut? Well, here's an interesting fact. Astronauts can actually grow taller in space. It's true. Without the constant pull of Earth's gravity, astronauts can experience a slight increase in height while they're floating around in space. Imagine being taller than your parents. But don't worry, they return to their normal height when they come back to Earth. Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system, and it has a giant storm that's been raging for hundreds of years. It's called the Great Red Spot, and it's so big that you could fit three Earths inside of it. Whoa, that's one powerful storm. Scientists are still trying to figure out why the storm has lasted for so long. Maybe it's powered by alien space snacks. Space may seem empty, but it's actually full of stuff. When we look up at the night sky, we often imagine a vast, empty void. However, the reality is quite different. Space is teeming with countless objects, both natural and man-made, that are constantly moving and interacting with each other. There are millions of pieces of space junk orbiting Earth, like old satellites, rocket parts, and even lost tools. These objects, often referred to as space debris or space junk, are the remnants of past space missions, defunct satellites, and fragments from disintegrated spacecraft. They travel at incredibly high speeds, posing a significant threat to operational satellites and space missions. It's like a giant cosmic junkyard. Imagine a scrapyard, but instead of old cars and machinery, it's filled with pieces of metal, plastic, and other materials, all floating in the vacuum of space. This cosmic junkyard is a growing problem, as more and more debris accumulates with each passing year. Some of the pieces are tiny, like specks of dust, barely visible to the naked eye. These minuscule particles might seem harmless, but at the high velocities they travel, even the smallest piece can cause significant damage to spacecraft and satellites, but some are as big as a bus. Yikes! These larger pieces of debris are particularly concerning because they can cause catastrophic collisions, leading to even more debris being created. This chain reaction, known as the Kessler syndrome, could make certain orbits unusable for future missions. Scientists are working on ways to clean up space junk so it doesn't bump into important things like satellites and spacecraft. Various methods are being explored, such as using nets, harpoons, and even lasers to capture or redirect debris. The goal is to ensure the safety of future space missions and protect the valuable assets we have in orbit. It's a challenging task, but with continued innovation and international cooperation, 
we can hope to keep space a safer place for exploration and discovery. Wow, we learned so much about space today. We explored planets, stars, and even space junk. Space is such an exciting place, and there's still so much more to discover. If you loved learning about space with me today, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more awesome adventures. Thanks for exploring with me, Space Cadets. See you next time.